And welcome back to the channel. You guys know what it is. All those good stuff happens over here. But listen, so as you can tell, um, I look a little bit preoccupied and I am at the airport. So basically, um, I've decided that it's been far, far too long. And in between, since I've seen my um, wonderful best friend, Mr. Uh, Marvin. So basically, I am booking a flight to go see him as we speak. Um, I'm walking down this blue freaking airport in LAX. And uh, Marvin has no idea I'm coming. This is how easy it is to fool him. I literally sent him a text yesterday. And I said, hey bro, like, I'm gonna have a gift delivered to you. What's your address? He just sends it to me. Literally, he just sends it to me. He goes, oh, no way, bro. He just sends me his address. I'm like, bro, if I ever wanted to like rob you or like mug you or anything, it's not hard to do. <laughs> anyway, so I know where he's at. I told him you have to sign for the package too. So he gave me his entire schedule. So it's gonna be really easy to find him. Um, I'm definitely gonna be working on all my French this whole trip, but uh, you know what they say, all that good stuff in French and uh, key the intro. you guys a wild moose is actually doing her job you know what's crazy is it looks like she has a lot of bags on but i actually have way more bags in here she's actually doing her job this time it's impressive this airport area is actually really nice but like look at these freaking french braids who gets french braids to go to france <laughs> Touchdown in Paris. I uh, got me a little bit of water because I love my sparkling waters. Basically, it was a long 11 hour flight. I slept most of it, but I was definitely crammed in like my little back window corner. Didn't move from my seat the entire flight. Um, this is the airport. I already stopped and got snacks. And now we're gonna go check into the hotel and then hunt down Mr. Marvin. You see how surprised he is that I flew across the world to come see him. So let's go see the look on his face. Out here in Paris. Y'all, look what I found. I found the Eiffel Tower. I know I've done this position a few times in my day. Oh my gosh. But uh, the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, let's go through this big metal statue and what all the hype about it is. All my touristy vibes today, guys. Look at this. I have no idea what's going on right now, but uh, I'm here for it. I have no idea what even this gold building is, but uh, this street looks pretty cool. I don't really know how to do travel vlogging, but uh, yeah, I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here. Hey guys, so I'm just walking down this really cool dirt trail and then, oh, what is that? What is that right there? Yeah, I'm a little bit more awake now that I got some coffee and me at this little cafe that made the stuff that go eat, but look at the view of this thing. You literally cannot make this up. Like this is, look, let me got you, I got you guys. Look at that thing. Like, you can't make this up. Paris is sick. They have basketball courts, like child's playgrounds everywhere. Like we don't got this in the US. We don't got just public sick parks like this that are like super clean. Like we got clean. I mean, one piece of charcoal, I'll give you a hundred dollars. It's not there, it's not there. All right, as many people know that the water in France, France is something to rave about. So I spent all day looking for Spent all day looking for one of these water fountains. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this public water a try. Tastes like Fiji water. It's impressive. Y'all, look how cool the little lounge area in this hotel is. Like, you got this little espresso machine over here where you can make as much coffee as you like throughout the day. How fancy. And then over here, you have a little wine machine with these, look at these wine glasses. Like, you ever seen wine stored in like a test tube like this? I thought you guys would think that would be super cool. <laughs> Okay, I know yesterday was kind of fly. I was actually so extremely tired. So I didn't really have um, a whole lot to say yesterday. But basically, as you guys saw, I found Marvin. I don't really have service that great out here in France yet, but I've ran into Marvin yesterday. It's a surreal moment. Happy to see my friend. But listen, it's not about that. I want to show you guys this thing. Look at this. Look at the, the Notre Dame, Notre Dame thing. Y'all ever seen that Disney movie with the ugly motherfucker that be ringing the horn? That's about that place. So uh, let's go check out Notre Dame today. 
Also, I don't know if you guys remember this, but a couple years ago, this thing caught on fire. Caught on fire and everything in there burned except for the something. Because I was confused why it's under construction. It's supposed to be like a like a national monument or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's actually nuts. Crazy. Stuff you see. So guys, look at this nice river. So you guys remember the bell tower used to be like right there in the middle. And then obviously it like fell into the thing and the whole thing like lit up on fire. But uh, yeah, and if you guys know me, one thing about me is I'm gonna go touch that thing. And they're gonna be very upset at me. But I'm gonna go touch that thing. Look at yeah, that thing, y'all. I need to touch this thing. I gotta figure it out. All these people out here. Look at that. I'm gonna go watch the Hunchback in Notre Dame after this. You know, I kind of look like dude. Call insert clip of dude right here from Disney. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to read like this entire thing. So basically, this is what happened when the place burned down. But Moses doesn't really give a damn about that. So I stopped trying to explain it in English. History to her, it's boring. So I went and I read it by myself. Just so everybody who's watching this vlog knows, she didn't read a single part of this. She's been on her phone the entire time. She does not give a damn about what happened here. Chase is getting recognized, so he's taking photos with everybody. Yeah, this entire school group is about to come up to it. And another. Everyone's looking over here. They're like, who is this man? <laughs> this is gonna be very interesting. Just try to enjoy the view. Chase is just too popular. <laughs> Okay, so basically, if you look at how it's structured, if you look at any book, like people who like design portals and stuff for movies, if you kind of look at it, it's kind of like Stargate. They look like Stargates, kind of. And so it's supposed to be the Portal of the Virgin, the Portal of Last Right, and then the Portal of Saint Anne. And it's supposed to have pictures, and then these are supposed to be the kings, I guess. So you guys, I'm actually underneath the cathedral right now. And I don't know if you guys ever seen Hunchback and Notre Dame by Victor Van Huga. Look at this. This is the first dock. And they did this nice little thing to show you guys what it looks like. Guess what, guys? You know I had to take a piece of history. Look at that, a piece of the fish dock. Don't tell anybody. Y'all, can we just talk about this for a second? Like, look at that. I'm gonna live in a house this big one day. Y'all make sure you like and subscribe. I've seen a lot of French things in my day, but it's gotta be up there, man. Like, this place is amazing, it's beautiful. La Petite Plateau. Good thing I'm not French, because I really might get canceled for this. But look how beautiful, guys. Right? You get A plus in my book so far. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this a lot. Y'all look, I made my way down from there. You know I had to come touch the water. I always touch the water in every country. <laughs> Damn, you may not have snuck into the cathedral, guys. I gotta tell you guys this funny story once about when I was a little kid and I actually told Moses this when she came to Seattle that my grandma and grandpa would watch movies and in the movies if they had like a nice yard or a garden they'd get inspired and want a nice yard and garden and there was one movie in particular called Marie Antoinette where they showed this specific garden I forgot about it until I saw it in person it reminded me we were out there for 12 hours one day. I think I was like 10 years old. My grandpa went out there and he had a dang stick. The moment we stopped picking weeds and not making that garden look like this one, we were getting wiped with that stick. Fun fact for my past. Wow, look at that. Wow, that is impressive. I will say, that is impressive. Look at that. Woo! What up, YouTube? Okay, so we're walking down this garden. And uh, tell me why now I'm holding her stuff so that she can walk around. Can't drink my little mini bottle of wine. Unbelievable. This song right here, this is like when I come walking out. Right after you get out of the bathroom, <laughs> <laughs> off your throne. Off the throne, look at we're walking down here. Cause you know what I'm going down here to do? To touch the water. So we are gonna get some macaroons and these are the flavors. I got one of each. You guys, this is really just nothing more than just me admiring the aesthetics of French culture. Like, look at this place. It's so stunning. 
So I found this pastry. I already stuck my finger in it, as you guys can see, but it looks good. Give us a full review, Chase. Yeah, it comes in this little pastry <gasps> style box. Yes. That was not bad. Not bad at all. Crazy horse for the show. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Where did you I have no idea. The world famous crazy horse founded in 1954. Wow. He's got a fancy guy to take us to the thing. Wow. Fancy. Well, that was interesting. That was just really a cap for like a rush. Wow. That's going to be a story when we get out of here. Okay, guys, guess what? We are now rolled into the next day. So basically yesterday I was really, really tired, uh, burnt out. You probably tell from my energy that I was not vibing because for the most part, um, it was a lot of walking yesterday and a lot of learning. So my brain was also tired too. And as you guys know, I love you guys the most. I want to give you guys the best quality content. But listen, I'm out here at this big old, old rustic building. Uh, Moses is up there too. But uh, basically I'm here to look at the one and only Mona Lisa. I'm not going all the way to France and not seeing this Google painting of the Mona Lisa. She didn't even know who painted it. So I don't hear nothing from her. But anyways, we're here now. I'm gonna go check it out. It's gonna be super cool. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be checked off my bucket list. guys there she is in the flesh mona lisa wow that right there is pretty cool to me so i really should tell her now she wants a picture now this napoleon painting king is pretty famous too guys So the Mona Lisa was great and all, but uh, we found a chocolate museum to go explore. So let's go see what this is about. Okay, look at all the chocolatey stuff. It's a little chocolate tree. The different styles of cocoa beans. This is the only chocolate in this whole factory. Wow. Ooh, okay, I might have dropped the ball on the um, chocolate factory. Definitely Willy Wonka was not there. But hey, look what I found. Uh, this big Louis Vuitton foundation. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna look at this stuff. And then I'm calling an Uber, and I'm gonna go take a nap, because I'm still jet lagged, and I'm tired as heck, and I wanna see Martin before I leave, and my friend Alex, my cousin Andre, and all these great people, and I'm just tired. Foundation of Louis Vuitton. Yeah, me and Gabrielle were pretty quick in and out of there. I just don't think we have an appreciation for art like most people do. So we're gonna go back to the house and try to get a quick nap in. 